Yep, anyway, we're out here at the coffee time tree. I just had a cup of coffee, so I won't, I won't uh, bring another cu cup of coffee bouncing around. But uh, it's Saturday morning, and it's about 10 degrees, and we've had a lot of rain overnight, which was great. We've had the rain. And uh, what we do have is a mouse in the house. A moose loose in the hoose. Yeah. And uh, not quite sure how it got in, but uh, it is, and it's hiding from us at the minute. But we got, got some bait. We're going to put some bait down inside the house. But it's the mouse is laughing. He's got the cat food, wet and dry cat food, and water, and a warm place to sleep. How good is that? It's everything you want. And uh, I have been hearing overnight sort of like at three o'clock in the morning the odd rattle and you think what's that it's been the mouse and it's been a long time since we've had a mouse in the place it's been um oh a good 10 years since the last mouse so it's been a while anyway we get some bait uh, from the shed because we've got uh, we put baits out in the shed because that's where we keep sort of the chook food and all the grain and that and that's in plastic barrels. So the mouse is in the house. Don't know how it decided to, a random mouse in the house. Anyway, mouse is in the house. It's got another thing coming. Where we'll put the ice cream container over the top of the cat food and uh, we'll leave the water there because water is a component of the, the uh, the, the rat bait because they like to have a drink and it activates the, the rat bait and it's ugly but it'll die anyway we'll do that yes yay going down to the supermarket uh, Saturday afternoon uh, Saturday evening actually um, four ish uh, yep and we're heading down to the supermarket to get chips. Actually, some supermarket chips. We're going to have them for tea, along with some chili con carne. So, chili con carne and French fries. Yeah! That's my kind of tea. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing a podcast. Yeah. So, that's going to be interesting. I've got most of the equipment already to do it. Uh, I just need a, a, a proper mixer. I've got a small one, but I wanted um, something that could take maybe four channels, four microphones, and, and... A telephone you can plug your telephone into and I know there's a little gadget that uh, you can plug your phone into and it goes into your mixer and it's forward and back so uh, the telephone can hear you and you can hear the telephone and it could be all recorded love that and uh, oh. so this is what I've been thinking and I'd love to do it I because I, I did radio for God nearly 30 years I thought yeah we could do that and I, mean, I know it's old hat and everything because video is the way to go but I thought, yeah stick something out there why not then I could invite my friends in like Trevor and Lefty and whatever I could ring them on the phone whatever and we could play some of their songs you know not necessarily like top 40 stuff but songs from the local artists around me too mine and stuff like that. Uh, even maybe record stuff at open mics and and interview people. And so there's a whole range of things that I want to do that I'm thinking about doing. Thinking about doing it and doing it are two different things. Yeah, I've got two fingers. Two different things. <laughs> anyway, that's sort of what's been going through my mind today. And I've been having a little bit of practice with what I've got. And I can do it. Anyway, I've got just pulling up at the supermarket. Yeah, we're in the supermarket. I'm looking for the chips. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them right here. There's the battered, beer battered wedges. 
there's the super fried shoestrings. There's crinkle cut. Oh, there's all kinds. Um, you know what? I think we might go for the beer battered wedges. They're only five bucks though. Uh, pub style wedges. Pub style wedges. There we go. I think we found one. Yep. Out of the supermarket. And I've got my stuff. See, we have our boxes. We don't even have plastic bags. They, didn't, they just don't give you plastic bags. You get a, you got to get your own. And it's a box. If you want something to carry your groceries in, it's going to be a box. Yeah. But that's all right. And an Aldi, uh, you don't get anything. You can buy your your bags down there, your Aldi's bags, but you don't get plastic. So I don't know what the big fuss is about. I really don't. In a little country town like this, we get cardboard boxes. They're recyclable. And for that for that matter, the supermarket wants to get rid of them anyway, because that's what I used to do for a living: go to the supermarket, get their 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 scrunched up cardboard boxes, and take them back, bail them up, and send them to China. <laughs> so there's no big deal. Oh, it is cold. What is it? It's 11 degrees. 11 degrees and no breeze. It's just cold. It's going to get cold tonight. Maybe rain. Maybe not. We're not sure. But we've had a fair bit of rain. Got some nice wedges there. Got um, a packet of tortillas too. Um, we found out I'm allergic to yeast, which is interesting. At my age, I never knew. But anyway, so the tortilla is really nice. And this, these are stoppable tortillas. And the packet only costs about $2.40. And I went, yes, I'm having them. And uh, so we've got, um, we've got the tortilla, tortillas. We have also the, the wedges. They're going to be good. They're like fat chips. And, and they had um, potato chips on special. Normally they cost $4 something. These were $1.50, I went, and they're barbecue. I'm going, yes, okay, barbecues. Mrs. Mack will love me. <laughs> anyway, not to worry. We're almost home, and uh, yeah. So we'll think about that, uh, that podcast thing couple of bits of equipment to get but most of it I already have so we could do a weekly or even a monthly but I think a weekly not every night but you know build up to it sort of thing anyway it's something to think about